So let's see it in real life. Here we are in Management Studio, and I'm going to open up Database Diagrammer and show you how to create these in the tool. I'm just going to call this New Database New. And we're not going to do more work with this database later on. I just want to show you how you go about creating new tables and a new database. So opening up the tables. This will be our sample table. So this is sample ID. Change the data type to integer. Over in the properties, set identity column. So I set the identity column to yes, and we'll create this as a primary key. So that's creating a physical key, which is a surrogate primary key. Add just a couple more columns. Also notice that the sample ID does not allow null. That's another requirement for primary keys. Go ahead and save the table. Call it sample. Make a new one. We'll call this auto ID. Change the data type to integer. And make it a primary key. I'm going to add a foreign key, sample ID, integer. So in the sample database, we now have sample and auto. Add database diagrams. And we'll add both tables to the diagram. Open this up so we can have some more room. And to create the relationship here between sample ID and auto, just to say every person can have multiple automobiles. Say yes to the relationship. And all of this defaults looks great, so OK. And that's basically through the GUI, how you could create tables, set relationships. I also want to show you how to do this with code very briefly by walking through and showing you a couple examples from one of the sample databases. And all the code is there, so you can look through this at your own leisure in more detail. Okay, so here's the CHA2 create. Here's the basic code to create a database. Pretty simple. There's a number of other options available as far as where you want the file groups and things like that, but simply create database creates the database. Here's an example of creating a table. The actual code, the DDL code, stands for Data Definition Language Code, is create table, table name, and then in parentheses, you simply list out all of the columns. After each column, you give it the data type. Add what other properties you might want to have as far as identity, primary key. And I like to always explicitly define null or not null for each one of the columns. See if I see another good, interesting example here. Here's one, the event. Here's the event ID column, which is a primary key, not null. And then tour ID, which is a foreign key. And when you specify a foreign key in code, you say foreign key references. Then just identify the name of the table. It'll automatically reference the primary key of that table. So we talked about the rules of one different types of keys, how to create them. The basic design of your database is critical, and I would emphasize that it's worth iterating several times over the database design to make sure you get it right, because it's difficult to change later. And the database design, the schema itself, is the largest factor in the performance of your database.